Hello and welcome to No Seven Dice Club. Uh, thank you for joining me today, like I always say. And I just want to go over another dice set uh, with you. Um, one that works particularly well at the end of the table. I'm going to give you a different version later on uh, when you're at stick left one or stick right one. But this is for uh, if you're at the back end of the table and you're not sure uh, what dice set to use if you like the back end of the table. Now it's particular that you, if you're at the back end of the table, which seems to be the most open spots on the craps table. Uh, if you have to be in the hook, you know, on this side right here or on this corner over here uh, is fine, but you have to shoot the dice in a diagonal so that way it's still straight going this way. Um, but I prefer it to be right here, you know, right in this area. Uh, but the dice set that we're going to work on and one that I'm finding you know pretty good success with at the casino it's not the one I use all the time but I like to test it out sometimes when I'm at the casino to see if it's any different than my casino table here at the house and it's the cross sixes and it's a particular cross six that I like there's different versions of the cross six uh, this is one that uh, I see some people use sometimes I see people use a different cross six and the cross six that I like uh, that I've kind of adopted sometimes when my normal dice sets not working is this set and what it is is that we're going to take the five is going to be on the back end and this is going to be your first six so that way the three is right here the five is facing you and then the four is on the other side, right? And then of course, your two is right there. So you have your five right here. So you put that one down and then you have your other six is on top and then you have the two right here. So, and the three is facing you, all right? So the way it looks is that when you're all said and done is that you have the five and the three and then you have the cross six on top. So, and the reason why No Sevens likes this dice set is because if you look at it, and if everything stays the same, you'll never hit a seven because there's no sevens lined up on this dice set. So we have a three, two, we have the sixes, we have the five, four, we have the five facing us, and the four is right here so all the sevens are tucked away so it gives us a higher percentage of of you know going the distance and having a halfway decent to a decent throw maybe to a long throw on this because all your all your all your sevens are completely covered up which is nice I mean everything is taken care of so in the way I like to go ahead and shoot this dice it's an inline grip so I take my fingers and I grab both sides I kind of leave room so as you can see there's a little bit of room right here on both sides if I turn you can see how you can how I grab it and what I do is I put my other my middle finger up against here to hold it make sure that it's perfectly straight you know it's not here to press or anything else it's just to keep it aligned but the main thing is I'm pinching these two fingers together and so that way it's like a claw you know it's like pinch 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 and you have that room and then you have this to brace it so that way when you grab it on the table when you grab it on the table you grab it like this, but with my other, which, which, whichever hand is dominant to you. And then I grab it like this. So when I grab it, it's, it's like this, because I'm, I'm all right. I'm, I'm, I'm a switch hitter. I can, I can, I'm ambidextrous. I can go left or right. So it just, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, I can shoot with my left. I can shoot with my right, but I prefer to shoot with my right, but it's, 
it's the simple grip and it's a toss. And it's not a toss like this. Don't do this because you're going to hit a seven. It's a simple toss and it's a toss just like this. And that was a three, one, four. Now, the easiest way when you're at the back end of the table, and one thing I like about the back end of the table is when you go ahead and do this dice set in your, um, and you're lining it up, you have, and you're playing at a 12 foot table, a 14 foot's different because this pass line is gonna be a little bit further up. It's gonna be probably about right here. But when you're doing on a 12 foot table, I like to line it up either on the E, the N, the I, or the L, depending on where I'm at. And I line it up so that way it's a straight runway. And what I like to do is sometimes I like to use the E or the N, and I'll take this line on the end and I'll line it up. So that way it's straight. That way I know I'm straight. I put my finger here first, I pinch it, and then I'll shoot the three, two, five. So, but I like to shoot with my right. I feel better with my right. Line it up. Either one, L, I, N, E, whichever one you prefer, as long as it's all lined up. You take your time, you make sure your stance is right. Your stance wants to be, you know, when you're standing, it's like a picture. You want to have the same stance every single time. When you watch the professional major league baseball players, the pitchers, they have the same stance over and over and over again. You never see them do 20 different steps, you know, or, you know, stance, you know, they always stand the same. They always deliver the same. Sure, their, their pitches are going to be different, but their body is always their same. And that's one thing you want to have. So that way, when you line it up, everything is the same. You want to keep your dice low to the ground. You don't want a high arch. We're not trying to shoot for the moon here. We're just trying to do something simple. Not too hard. That's the 2-2, two, two. that's the hard floor. And your landing zone is gonna be roughly about right here. You wanna bring it in a little bit closer. You want it to be about right here, but right here is fine too. But you want it to be right about here and you want it to have your energy to be dissipated right here before it hits the wall. Because you don't want a lot of energy hitting this wall with the alligator, the pyramids, whatever you want to call it. You want it to hit the wall, die, and come in. And it's going to take a little bit of time. Even I still have trouble with letting all the energy release. That last throw, the 2-2, two, two, the hard 4, that had a lot of energy. It came all the way back to the 8 on the other side of the table. So we're going to go here. We're going to line it up on the letter. We're gonna look, take our stance, and shoot. The three, five, or the five, three, eight, feeling great, however you wanna call it. And that had a lot of energy. That came almost all the way back to the middle of the table. See, you, it's, what I'm trying to say is it's forgivable. It's not like it has to be perfect. It's not like you have to line it up and you have to go like, you know, all right, I gotta be ultra perfect, you know, perfect, perfect. You know, it's not like that. It's, it, it's forgivable. And that's one thing I like about this dice set is because you don't have any of the sevens showing, it's a pretty forgiving dice. So let's go over uh, some of, I'm going to do a couple of tosses over here and then I'm going to show you the landing zone on the other side. But this way you can kind of see everything that's going on. So we're going to line it up. We got the five. We got the two on this side or the three on this side. Bring them together. Line it up. Get our stance right. And toss. The six, two, eight. Bring the five, turn the two so that way the three is looking at us. 
bring it in. Six, four, ten. Now the key that I notice when I'm using this dice set is that as long as I have a six and as long as I don't have a one on the other side of the, the other die, the other dice, I, um, I, I know I can roll forever because as long as this is a six and as long as this doesn't pop up as a one, it could be any other number and it'll never be a seven, which is cool. And your chances of one of these being a six are pretty high as long as you can throw on access and they don't have to throw on access with this dice set. It can go off. It can be like this and it could be, you know, say like that, you know, or like this. You know, as long as one of them either lands on a six or a one, you're all right. As long as one of them doesn't land on a six and that, you know, you're okay. But it gives you a greater chance of staying in the game just maybe a little bit longer. It might give you an extra throw, you know, and an extra throw at every single session you're throwing at the craps table will add up. You know, it's maybe another $15 in your rack. Maybe it's another 25, maybe it's another $100 in your rack. Just that one extra throw per session will start adding up for you. So let's do some, some throws and let's see how we do. All right, the five, three, eight. You see, that wasn't a six. Turn it that way. I'm gonna turn it this way. The three, one, four. So that one was a six, or it wasn't a six. It was a it was a one on the opposite side. Bring it in. The four, two, six. And I'm going to show you all those dice down there too. So that we can be like, no sevens, you can just call out whatever you want. We can't see crap down here. <laughs> so the main thing is I just want to show you the tops right now. All right, the three, two, five. It's getting a little crowded down there at that end. That's what happens. Here, let me use the red dice. Get some variety down there. So you line it up, pinch it. Six, two, eight. There's a six on one of them. Turn it. Turn it. That was high. That was a three, four, seven. That was a bad throw. So that throw right there, it hit the top part right here. It didn't even hit the alligators. It went up here, slapped this, and then came back down and died. That was a three, four, seven. So that was bad mechanics, not a bad dice set. And that's usually what happens to your, your sevens, is that it's not a dice set. It's bad mechanics on how you deliver those dice down there. And for me, it hit this. That was a six, four, ten. All right, so I think you guys pretty much got the throw. You know, it's, you're lining it up, you're going from here, and you're tossing. All right, so I'm gonna pause the camera. I think you guys got pretty much the fundamentals of shooting the dice right here. You know, I wanna make sure that you guys could see it. You can see the motion, you can see us lining it up. You know, you wanna line it up, and then you just wanna deliver it. And go from there okay so we are uh, going to go ahead to the other side I'm going to show you the landing zone and uh, and that way you can actually see what the dice numbers are landing at and uh, and go from there
Okay, just like with Hollywood Magic, we're on the other side of the table, and I am showing you everything that we uh, that we were. You know, you can see all the different dice. You know that we were at the six two eight, the four four, all the different numbers. So as you can see, you know, main thing is that we were all. here so all right let's do some I'm going to toss some dice from the other end so it's going to take me a few minutes I might pause the video in between and kind of speed it up but I'm I want to show you um, how uh, the landing zone and everything else coming into play and, uh, and going from there so was the 617 and that was way too hard so that was a good come out seven on on the roll you know you gotta hit a, a come out seven every so often so that was way way too hard let's go ahead and try it again that's what you're aiming for right there that was the perfect perfect landing zone perfect everything that was right where you wanted to be and that's the 549 so let's go ahead and try this again. All right. That was, I'm going to redo that one because I don't know, both of them, it was all kissing sixes and everything else. So let's go ahead and clear that up. Let's get rid of those. Let's try this again so that way we can actually see what's going down the field. Six three nine. Go ahead and move that out of the way for you guys real quick. So six three nine. Boy, that was way too hard to end. Some of them I'm doing are a little bit on purpose, you know, just making it, uh, giving you different views of, you know, if you're throwing it way too hard, what's the outcome? And so that is the one, two, three, right there. So bring that one here. And what I'm trying to show to you is that it's a forgivable die set. It doesn't have to be where it has to hit the back wall at a certain speed or anything else. It's it's a forgivable die set. And you know, even if you don't throw on access, off access, or even if you don't even know what on access and off access are, if you're a beginner shooter, you you can still use this die set because it's forgivable. And that was way short, but that's what I'm saying. It's forgivable. Six two eight. My landing zone, if you saw it, was like right here. Uh, it needs to be right here. But the six two eight. Let's do another one. There's the four four, there's the hard eight. No. It's a little bit harder to see on the, uh, let me get some reds down there that way you guys can see it a little bit better because I know the blue kind of blends in with the purple felt. So let's get some reds in there. I like blue dice, they're my favorite. I always like blue, so. I prefer blue dice, but it's not good for camera sake. All right, that's the three, two, five. That one had all sorts of bounce on it, three. But once again, like I said, you don't have to be perfect when throwing these dice. There's 
a 516. I don't think it's in camera view, so I'll bring it in here for you. 516. And some of them I'm purposely throwing a little bit harder, like this, watch. You know, and you're probably like, oh no, Simmons, you're just saying that, you know. But watch, this is what you want to do for a perfect throw and a perfect landing zone. You see, six, two, eight. And you want it to kind of die right here. So the landing zone is about right here. And you want it to kind of die right about there. So that's a six, two, eight. And then you can throw it hard. Watch, I'm gonna do a hard throw for you and show you the difference. The two, two, the hard four, right there on camera view for you. So that way you can look at it. See, the two, two, the hard four. So what I'm trying to say is that this is a pretty forgivable die set. It gives you the range. It gives you, um, you know, it gives you, the main thing is that it gives you maybe one more, maybe two more extra rolls of the dice at each session and that pays off. You know, it's the little things that make the biggest difference at the craft table and in life. It's the small details. It's what you can do a little bit more extra adds up at the end of the day. It might not seem it at first, but just that little bit adds up at the end. There's the 426. Hitting a lot of sixes, which is great. Because when we do our six eight strategies, you know what do we uh, what what's the number that we always need to hit first the six or the eight first to do maybe you know the twenty four dollar um, aggressive style betting or maybe some future videos that I'll mention to you uh, if you guys are still with me maybe it's the uh, two o four house money video that's going to be coming to your local. Uh, YouTube channel pretty soon. It's under development as we speak. There's the 538. I'm feeling great about this die set. And you guys are watching these rolls live with me. Seven. I was wondering if you were going to show up on a horrible throw. <laughs> so if you notice, it was like right here, <clears throat> and it just like blah. <laughs> so there's the five, two, seven. But hey, look, <clears throat> I don't have all of them because I, I, I left these out. But so I'm not going to count those. But I mean, if we were, we had a five, four, nine. So that one's still there. And then I don't know what these other two were. But I mean, look, we were able to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then on the 12th roll. Hey, look, if you can roll 12 times every single time, that's pretty good. And there's no shame in a 12 roll every single time. There's some people who can't even get past three rolls. But if you can average an 8 to 12 roll with this, and knowing that, you're probably going to have a 20, maybe a 30, probably even a 40 sometime down the road. You're going to find that landing zone. You're going to perfect this die set, and you might be able to get that 20, that 30 roll. That, those won't come often, but they'll come every so often. But the main thing is that you want to shoot 8 to 12 times in a roll, and if you can do that, you're going to be a winner more times than not. And that's the key thing about this. But guys, I hope you appreciate this video. I hope you learned something about the cross sixes. My version of the cross six, you know, with the five, the five right here. And look, it's already set up the two. You see how easy that was? You see, one of them was off axis, one of them was on axis. 
and that's the nice thing about it is that you're already set up to deliver the dice again and one of them was off one of them was on access so that's the cool thing about this die set and that's that's what's nice about this so that way as long as it it rolls whatever it rolls as long as it doesn't flip over to that we're okay it's all good but guys i hope you did learn something about this I hopefully you like the video hopefully you know this is another tool to add to your toolbox when you go to the craps table and you need to think of a die set give this one a try don't put a lot of money at it first you know unless you got a craps table at home or something to practice and if you're practicing at the casino just throw down you know the minimum pass on whatever it is 25 15 dollars put some money on the ats put a like a couple dollars on the six and eight and just roll and just practice you know that way you don't have a lot up there but if you do hit all the numbers you got the ATS covered and then if you hit the six and eight like we did numerous times you're making money so just something to try out something to see and I hope you guys are successful at the casino and it was a pleasure to teach you another different dice set those sevens will catch you on the flip side